Uh, it's a quick little video right here. I just had an issue. This 12 volt plug right here quit working all of a sudden. So I popped the compartment off of the fuse panel. And reaching back up in here. It came unplugged. Where this plug is, is kind of hidden behind a whole bunch of shit and you ain't got room to really get to it. So what I did was, I popped out that AC vent or HVAC vent right there. It just pops out real easy. And then right inside here, you can see this is part of the duct work right here. Let me get my flashlight, I'll show you. You can see that duct tube right there. And if you pull that to the side a little bit, you can move it out of the way one way or another. If you pull that out of the side, you can reach your hand right up in there and feel where the plugs are. So what I'm gonna do is, is just move that out of the way Feed that, feed this plug back up in there and plug it in. If you notice, that wiring harness right there jiggles up and down. And I guarantee you that's why this came unplugged. So if you have that issue, this is a 2019 uh, Cascadia Freightliner. If you have that issue, check this out first. I checked my fuses, of course, first and foremost, and they're all good. So the only other thing it could have been was that it came unplugged, and that's exactly what it was. So if your 12 volt plugs quit working, check your fuses, and then check these plugs. And yeah, I'm just sitting on the side of the road right here. So once I get it hooked up and make sure it works, I'll pick this back up all right so I got it plugged back in you can see I got power up here on this little inverter that's this plug I'm gonna unplug this one you can see how it all went off I'm gonna plug it in up here on this one everything came back on all right like I said this is on 2019 Cascadia. It just happened going down the road. Chances are it's because of that wiring harness down there bouncing around and shaking. It just worked that plug loose. I'll fix that when I get home this weekend with some zip ties and stuff like that and get it situated where it ain't shaking everything around so bad. But if you have any issues with your 12 volt plugs up here on your dash, check your fuses of course first and then check that stuff. And you don't have to tear the whole dash apart or anything like that. You just use a little common sense and move things around as best you can. You can get it plugged back in and everything should be fine. As a price, y'all be cool, be safe, I'm gone.